All right, hello guys. Uh, this is a little tutorial on how to get your Wii to be able to play GameCube games. I will show you how to actually download it because a lot of people um, would rather have um, their Wii, their GameCube backup games, instead of using the actual um, the actual disc that you use right there. Instead of using your disc, you use a backup. So let's get to that. First off, what you do here is this. Um, assuming you have homebrew, if you have homebrew, you are fine. So what we're going to do is that we're going to go to the GitHub page of Nintendo. And this is, um, is going to be on the link in the description if you need it. But as you watch this video, I will show you. Assuming you already have... Um, so when you already have homebrew, what you're going to do is this, you are going to download, you're going to click, you're going to download Loader Doll, um, Meta XML, and Icon PNG, alright? You're just going to click on those, and they will just download. So when you click on your X Meta XML page, what's going to happen is, uh, sometimes that is going to come out, but... Don't freak out if it's like, oh gosh, it's missing or whatever. No, it's not missing. What you do is that since it's an XML document, what you're gonna do is that you're gonna right, you're gonna right click and go to save as. And as you go to save as, it's right there. You say it saves as an XML text. So, so I already have, I already have it downloaded here, as you see. Um, yeah, XML text. And the same thing goes to your icon pay, PNG goes to your icon png what you do is that it shows the the image that it's supposed to display what you do is that you save image as and there it is the png file as you see uh as you see already have it downloaded right there so guys once you have the three those three downloaded right there what you do is that you go to the uh loader and you're supposed to rename it uh rename and we put boot.dol in that. What we do is that uh, we will put our SD card. We entered our SD card, but I'm using my SD card. I'm using my USB stick as a reference because I already have my stick in there. I'm just going to show you from there what you do. But um, in the SD card, you um, what you do is that you're going to open something in the apps holder. You're gonna open a folder in the apps. You're gonna open a folder in the SD card and name it apps. And once you go there in the apps folder, you open another folder and you call it Nintendo. Right. And once you put Nintendo in there, what you do is that you copy those um you copy those um three files into it. And you're actually good to set. You just stick your, you stick the SD card into your, uh, your beautiful Wii right there. Look at that, look at that beautiful red thing right there. Uh, you stick it in right there and then you are set. All right, now the next thing I'm going to do is a little more complicated. Uh, you better hold on because it gets a little technical here. But what you do next, and I had to take out my SD card for this one because, um, um, it has my ROMs in there, so what I gotta do is I gotta wait until this enters SD for Wii, the games and everything, right? So how you're gonna word this out is that once you have you know the apps and everything, what you're gonna do is this. As you can see, I'm using my SD right now, but as you see, uh, this is where the apps folder is, right? Well, what you're gonna do is this. You're going to uh, make a folder called games and what you're going to do is that you're going to wherever you get your um your roms from what you're going to do is that as you see i have uh two mario sunshine and that is the rom right there what you do is that you get your rom or whatever from whatever website and you're supposed to rename it game whatever it is game right game and it has to be an iso disc you have to make sure it's an iso disc right um, now make sure your SD card is FAT32, whatever. It has to be formatted FAT32. If you have a SanDisk card like this one, or like this one, they are automatically um, 
they're automatically fat 32 uh, as I know and I've checked mine's came with fat 32 so I'm pretty uh, I'm pretty sure of it um, make sure it doesn't display like usually it would display ISO make sure you hide the display right here um, it's so at some setting right here the info right here if you go to info you could hide your extension that's what you're supposed to do you would usually hide your extension you don't have to have your extension whatever as you can see uh, so here you just hide your extension because um, that's how the only way it would work actually for me it did so what you do is you put your ISO or your game the ROM into a folder and you would call the folder what the game was as you see and off that goes and once you put it there um, then you're basically set So, right here, what we're going to do is that we're going to go to the homebrew channel. Um, yep, that's the homebrew channel. So, as you have CC here, you're going to go to Nintendo, right here, as you have it installed. And we're going to load. Gosh, sorry, there we go. And as it runs, checking the storage devices. Now, you can use your SD and you can also use your, your USB. You can do it with both. Just, just remember, format it to be FAT32. Just remember that, all right, guys? So, uh, as you see here, you, you select your media. You could do SD or USB, wherever your games are located. And my games are located on my SD. Um, as you see right here, um, what I'm gonna do is go up. Well, I gotta have my GameCube connected right here. Got my GameCube controller right here. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to load up the game, and let's see how it does. Uh, let's see Super Mario Sunshine. And as it loads, as you see it, it works. It just works. Press start. Yep, there we go. There's no memory card slot. So when you get this, what you're gonna do is this. Now, uh, when this loads up and everything, you get your stuff down. Uh, the cool thing about Nintendo is that it um, it emulates your uh, you having a memory card. So you do not have to have the original memory card for you to plug in. What you do is this. You, um, yeah, you select where you have it, but what you do is you're going to go to B, you can press B on your, your Wii, or you can press B on your GameCube. As you see, pressing B on your GameCube will get you to select what you want to do with your, how you want your gameplay. You could have your video width uh, changed. You could have your video game width changed. You could get to auto. Uh, you could get to 640, 642. 644, 640, yeah, you can get all that. But all I want is auto, all right? Screen position, one, nine, one, and zero. You can get it into PAL, Wii Mode Rumble, Wii Mode Rumble. Cheats on, you could select cheats, actually. Debugger, debugger, wait, memory card emulation, that's what you want. Uh, for you to save your games and everything, what you do and everything, you do whatever you want there. Uh, language everything that's all you have to do right here so that is the cool part about Nintendo and what you do is you select your game um, and on there's no memory card as you see um, showing you not faking anything just let me skip the cutscene and everything good part about having uh, no disc is that you won't have to go through load times, honestly. Load times are obsolete, uh, just, just, think about it. It's like using your cartridge right here, honestly. Uh, see, it tells you to select your data, and there it is. It shows 
that uh, I have four stars right here. Four shrines at least. Because I haven't gotten that far into the game. But as you see, this is the tutorial. Um, people have actually wanted me to do this tutorial. And uh, I was like, you know what? I'll take the time to do it. Because, you know, why not? And it took me a little while to separate some time to do this. Because I was just like, how am I going to word this out word for word? But I'm glad I made a basic representation of how to do this. Uh, and uh, when you get this done, you know, just have fun. Just have fun with, you know, your GameCube on your, you know, your Wii. And free, actually. You don't have to buy discs, you know, because it just saves a lot of hassle, honestly. You won't have to buy things from eBay that are scratched or anything, you know. So, there is my tutorial for anything. If you have any questions, uh, put them on the comments down below, and I'll see you next time, guys.